the reliable replacement warhead uh, has been sort of. Uh, there's been a lot of talk that there may be that there could be some deal over the over reviving the ROW in, in exchange for votes for start. ROW is dead. Okay. I know I killed it. <laughs> Look, ROW. Uh, what people don't understand is that ROW was not just the ability to um, reliably replace, reuse, and refurbish. Um, through the life extension program, but it also called for uh, very much like what the Russians do with their stockpile, which is to rebuild them, each, right. each weapon every year. Um, that is enormously expensive. It is not the way we uh, do our life extension programs, and um, I, I believed that it was uh, sending the wrong rhetorical message as to what our intent is. Instead, in last year, 2010's National Defense Bill, uh, I was still chairman of strategic forces, we put in what's called stockpile management and mm -hmm. it has the best elements of RW, uh, but it does not require that every weapon be rebuilt every year and it says that replacement, which is has a higher threshold, that in order to replace a weapon, uh, which could cause concerns about certification and could cause questions about whether it needs to be tested, that needs to go to the President and the Congress to make that decision. Um, the stockpile management program through life extension programs can reuse parts that have been certified. They may not even be part of the stockpile, but they've been tested, and, and it can refurbish weapons as we do currently. Um, and and the uh, labs can actually study replacement. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that we haven't put constraints on the thinking part of, of the opportunity, but we certainly have said before you rush to replacement, uh, there has to be consideration. Uh, by the President and the Congress, and I think that's appropriate. But um, the budget for the National Nuclear Security Administration has been increased by 9 percent, uh, the biggest increase by any administration. So I think that the President's commitment, uh, while the President has made clear that he envisions a world without nuclear weapons, he has said that it will take patience and persistence, may not happen in his lifetime. But as Commander-in-Chief, he has made the commitment to have the strongest and the safest, most reliable and effective deterrent until the weapons are dispensed with. So I think that this is the right balance, um, and I think that it is important to see that this administration's commitment is unassailable and frankly unprecedented.